Hello everyone, my name is Speed Alligators, welcome to another video, and today we will be talking about the best Magnum class setup in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies content. Now, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this one, but I personally think that the single Magnum just by itself without having the dual weld attachment is completely fine, and I think it's an average pistol, you know, there's nothing inherently bad about it, but there's nothing inherently good about it. But one aspect that it does really actually excel in is range. I find that this pistol has by far the most range of any of the pistols. Uh, the Diamati isn't very good for long range because of that recoil on the 1911 for the same reason as well. And I feel like both of the other pistols have a very big damage drop off, while the Magnum, to me, doesn't really have much of it for... The encounters you're actually going to have in normal multiplayer where you're at a medium to long range and if you're running something like an SMG like the MAC-10, you really can't compete with people at that range and you kind of have to use a pistol or just not challenge them and go a different way. Regardless of this, I think the Magnum has a lot of room for improvement. There's a lot of good attachments with this gun. Albeit some of them are very unrealistic, we're talking about the magazine, because in reality you really can't have a 12 round magazine on a magnum pistol. But besides the point, even though it's not realistic, this gun can have a lot of very good attachments. Now the attachments we are going to want on this class setup are going to be the salvo 12 round fast magazine, the ember sighting point body, the 7.2 task force barrel, a sound suppressor, and the airborne elastic wrap. Now, I will explain what all these attachments are about. The 12-round magazine, and also the 12-round fast magazine. This is not realistic at all, and I'm sure everyone's know everyone knows this. There have been a lot of stuff about how it really shouldn't be in the game, just because I don't want to say it really doesn't flow with gameplay. But regardless, this is a very good attachment for this gun because not only do we have more ammo, but we also have fast mags, which make it a very quick reload. And also, the fast mags really don't affect our gun in like any way like how most extended mags do. They don't really affect our ADS speed at all. And even if they did, this gun still has a very fast ADS speed because it is a pistol. Now, the Task Force Barrel is kind of a different pick from what I normally do. I personally don't like using this barrel on some of the guns because it gives you added recoil. And also, the damage buff really isn't that much considering this gun is normally always a two-shot kill. But, we have to take into consideration that it ups our bullet velocity and our damage range, which are two very important things in this game. Now, in this game, bullet velocity is very, very slow. And so any attachment that ups the bullet velocity you are going to want because that makes it easier to hit moving and further away targets. And the damage range is just for in case you need longer range shots, you have at a damage range and you don't have to worry about a damage range drop off. Ember sighting point is for reveal or just revealing people in general, and also hipfire accuracy, because with this pistol, if you get into anything that's super close range, sometimes hip firing it is not a viable option without anything like this, because it has a very big hip fire spread, and also because of the slightly slower fire rate than normal on pistols. Now, the next attachment is the sound suppressor, and this, of course, is for sound suppression, so we don't show up on the minimap. And in general, Suppressors are a lot more useful in Cold War than what they were in Modern Warfare, considering your red dot appears when you fire your gun in this game, unlike how it was in Modern Warfare. So having muzzle concealment, which is given to us with the sound suppressor, or this attachment, is a lot better than what it was in Modern Warfare, and overall really useful. Now the next attachment, and our last attachment, is the Airborne Elastic Wrap. This is purely for ADS speed because this gun without it was actually decently slow because of all the attachments and big stuff we had on it. So I decided to put this in and throw it in kind of as an add-on. In general, if you're fine with the slower ADS speed, you could put a sight on this, but it's really up to you. Now, how does this gun perform? It performs very well. We have a lot of bullet velocity and damage range because of our barrel. We do not show up on the minimap because of our suppressor. We have a ton of ammo and a very quick reload with the quote-unquote magazine. We have a quick ADSB with the airborne elastic wrap. 
and overall this is just a really good gun not to mention with the ember sighting point on the gun we have a lot better of a hip fire accuracy and we can actually probably hip fire and be accurate and we have a better reveal distance so if we're trying to lead our shots or if we're shooting from someone way across the map we will be able to see them and hit them better and with that we will conclude the video make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this video down below or future video ideas and as always i will see you all next time